Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we are starting with a new physique update of Urs Kalecinski. And as you can see right here, he looks freaking shredded. At two weeks out of Mr. Olympia, his glutes are peeled, which means that his body fat percent is low enough. He doesn't have to get any leaner than this. He needs to cruise into the show, just get a little harder, fuller, uh, get rid of all the subcutaneous water, and that's basically it. He's pretty much ready. This is what you're gonna see on stage and he looks great, he looks phenomenal, he looks amazing. The question is, did he improve enough to move up a couple of spots or to even win the Mr. Olympia? Now, as far as winning the Mr. Olympia, I don't know about that, but challenging Ramon Dino and Terence Ruffin and cracking the top two, that is a possibility. And based on what I'm seeing right here, it seems like Urs improved quite a bit. He is very strong in his lower body, like his glutes, his hamstrings, his calves, and his quads are just insane. He might be arguably better than Chris Bumstead in that department. What was a weak point for him last year, it was definitely his back and his arms. Actually, let's check out what he looked like earlier this year. So, after the Mr. Olympia at the Arnold Classic, it seemed like he was improved. During his prep, it seemed like he had a good rebound, that he made progress, and he, that he was gonna get shredded, and he was peeled, but I think he was a little bit too flat, and it seemed like he wasn't in great shape. And I think that's why he didn't really have a chance against Terence Ruffin and Ramon Dino. And I'm gonna show you a comparison against them in a second. But here you can see his weaknesses, uh, same as they were at the Mr. Olympia before. Uh, back, for sure, compared to Brion Ainsley. And Brion Ainsley actually was fourth here, and Urs was third. So Urs beat Brion here, but it wasn't because of the back and the arms, it was because of the legs. Brion has uh, lost a lot of size in the legs, in the quads. One leg was significantly smaller than the other, that's besides the point. The thing is, here you can see the difference, like in the back development and also arms. You can see it from behind too, take a look at Brion's biceps, how peaky they are and look at how flat Urs's are. So definitely arms, especially biceps and back, those were the two weaknesses that he had to improve on. But from the front, as you can see, it looks much better because of the legs, because of those crazy calves, because he's showing his crazy small waist, a great V taper, but... You can see that his arms are not up to par. He needs to improve those arms if he wants to challenge guys like uh, Ramon Dino or Terence Ruffin or Chris Bumstead even. Even though Chris doesn't have the, be the best shaped arms, he has pretty good arms. I'm gonna show you an update of Chris in a second, but let's see. Did actually Urs improve his weaknesses, his arms and his back? The transition looks better. There is more thickness, I would say so. Arms as well do look a little bit bigger. And when he fully hits the pose, you can see that it doesn't look that bad. Like his back is not looking as shallow, as small, as flat as it did uh, earlier this year or last year. I think he did make progress. I think his back is better. I think it is thicker. I think it is more dense. There is more muscle in it. And also, I think his arms, you can't really see it from behind too much. It's really hard to show a big bicep pigs from behind unless you don't have super genetically blessed biceps. But you can see it in that other mirror that his biceps are a little bit bigger, more massive. I would say so. There were a couple of videos and photos during the off-season and his arms did look much better, especially that guest posing, if you guys remember. And I thought maybe when he starts dieting, it's all gonna go away because it's a new muscle. It hasn't been there for a long time. Maybe he just had a good rebound, but now we are two weeks out and there is basically no more fat that he needs to lose. He doesn't have to diet down. I don't know what his weight is, but I think he has a lot more room for actually for classic physique. So I believe right now he can actually increase the food and just, you know, kind of fill out slowly, have that sort of rebound effect, which is something that bodybuilders, open bodybuilders commonly do. They are kind of ready two weeks out and then they increase the food so they don't actually come in flat they come in big and full and you can't really gain any fat in those two weeks if you dehydrate properly at the end that's basically the winning formula and i believe Wurst can do something like that i believe he has enough room as far as weight to do that and uh, based on what i'm seeing right here it seems like he did in fact improve his arms his biceps and his back and when he fills out completely when he stops being so depleted 
And I think it's going to look pretty amazing, but I'm not sure where he's gonna place. Is he gonna be fourth or third or second? Or can he win the Mr. Olympia? Can he beat this guy right here, Chris Bumstead, who also showed us a physique update? It's from a couple of minutes ago, basically. And it's definitely not as transparent as Urs's update. You can't really see what is going on because he's really... A big part of his body is in the shadow however you kind of can get a grasp of his conditioning at two weeks out and he's not as lean as source he definitely has a different tactic he's not gonna be ready two weeks out i mean right now it's two weeks out he's not ready yet but he will have to push and actually be ready on time you know on the day of the show and Chris is bigger than Urs, he has more muscle, he needs to suffer really bad to actually make the way, to make the cap, and uh, this is him right now, so as you can see, let's zoom in the legs, uh, his legs, his quads are basically a body part that always comes in last, I noticed that. You can see vascularity, but you can see that it looks pretty blurry, and I think it's just basically his body holding on to a lot of water in that area, I think that's the case with him. I think his legs are gonna look great, separated and shredded, it's just gonna take some more time, I think those two weeks are enough. Now as far as his legs, there was a rumor that he had a leg injury, a quad injury, um, I don't know if that's really the case, if it is, you don't really, you can't really see any problems with his legs right now, they're looking as they always did. Again, this is not exactly the most transparent physique update, but you can kind of, you know, get the idea how, how good he looks. And you can see vascularity in his legs. You can see that he's lean. He is holding on to some water, which he will get rid of in those final two weeks. As far as his upper body and his overall, his entire physique, I don't know, guys. I mean, he's at the top and all these guys are trying to get to him, to chase him, but they are not... I don't think I can see any of these other top classic physique guys like Urs, like Ramon Dino and the others, I don't think I can see them having the potential that Chris Bumstead has. I don't think they can ever achieve something that Chris achieved. And what I wanted to say is, for the past couple of years, Chris hasn't really made a ton of progress, let's be honest. From 2019 to 2020, there was a big leap, that was definitely a big progress, especially in the back, but everywhere else, he just improved, he just got much, much better, much bigger, then next year, 2021, there wasn't really a lot that he could have improved, because he was already basically at the weight cap, and this year, based on what I'm seeing, it seems like it's gonna be pretty much similar, same, maybe in some way improved Chris Bumstead. Does that mean that the other guys who have definitely improved more than him, who have a lot more room to progress, does that mean that they can actually challenge him this year? I think absolutely not. I think as long as Chris comes in at his best, which is, for example, his last year's edition or the year before, as long as he brings his A game, as long as he's on, there is nobody that can actually touch him. I don't think anybody is in his league. So even though I don't see a ton of progress on this physique, if any at all, I still think it is that dominant that no matter how much the other guys improve, I don't think they actually have the potential to be as good or better than Chris Bumstead. Based on what I'm seeing right here, we're gonna see probably, uh, you know, another, another really good version of Chris at a Mr. Olympia and yeah, he's going to win another title. If you guys are looking for some health supplements, there is the best combination of everything right here in this one bottle. It's called Vintage Base. It's a multivitamin mineral product. It also has probiotics in it. And I don't know, guys, I can't remember when I was sick last time. And I think this is a great addition to your supplement stack during these winter months uh, when it's very cold outside. And if you're eating a lot of food and you're trying to grow like me, this will help your digestion. So guys, the link is down below. Uh, use the code EVAN for 15% discount. And once again, guys, if you want to support me and my channel, you like these videos, you want to keep me doing this stuff, that would be a great way to show your support. So guys, try out one of the old school lab supplements. The link is down below in the description. But enough talk about classic physique, let's move on to open bodybuilding and we got a, a selfie update of Nick Walker. What I found very interesting here is his face. His face now looks significantly different than it looked in the offseason. 
and this is basically, you know, a proper, I wouldn't really call it a dead face, it could, there are faces that look much worse when they are lean, uh, my face gets horrible when I'm shredded for the stage, but Nick Walker, I mean, he looks much, much younger and much different, and I saw this comparison right here, I thought it was funny, look at the difference. Some people tend to get really lean in the face uh, very rapidly, some others don't, however, some people have bloated faces even when they are shredded, and as far as Sneak, like, he's in the middle, I don't think he gets super, super shredded in the face, but the difference is humongous. Now he looks basically like a completely different person, he looks, I don't know, five years younger, uh, look at the size difference in the neck, like, <laughs> he really lost a lot of that bloat in the face, which kind of means that he's shredded right now. If that doesn't convince you, then these physique update photos will. So he posted a couple of new photos, and they are new, basically, he posted a couple of days ago the same uh, photos at the same spot, the same lighting and everything, and he posted another set of photos, and he says his new, his new lowest weight is 257, so he went down quite a bit, and he said that he was about to have a refeed uh, meal, so he wants to fill up a little bit more, but this was basically as flat as he's going to be at this point, and as you can see the conditioning, like, he's, he's pretty much ready, I mean, there isn't really a lot more work to do, as I said earlier, he's probably gonna cruise into the show, get, you know, filled up nicely, I don't think he's gonna go lower than, like, 257, 260 uh, on stage, but we don't worry about his conditioning, we know he's going to be shredded, he's going to peak properly, especially now that he's working with Matt Jansen, what we can be worried about is, is he gonna be better than last year, is he going to improve on his weaker, I wanna say his weak body parts, but what wasn't as impressive as everything else, let's put it that way, one of the things could have been his back, did he improve his back? Well, in this photo, his back does look very impressive, I think he looks better than last year, I think it would look even better in this pose if he leaned backwards a little bit. I think he's uh, leaning forward a little bit too much, but maybe that's because of the lighting in this posing room. Maybe he's gonna do it differently on Mr. Olympia stage, I hope so. Anyways, he does look really good, shredded, his back looks better. And if you wanna talk about Nick Walker and progress, the biggest thing that he needed to make progress on was his, uh, his legs, his outer sweeps. And in this comparison right here, uh, from 2021 to 2022, you can see that his legs are definitely much, much sweepier. They have more uh, muscle in that lateralis head, so he definitely made progress. There could be a difference with posing. I think his stance is a little bit wider. Uh, he's bending the knees a little bit more, so he's definitely creating an illusion of having bigger legs. But uh, still, I think you can see, I think it's pretty visible that his legs are bigger now, especially those outer quads. Take a look at the right one. His right quad definitely looks much improved. As far as his upper body, his chest, I don't think he really made a lot of progress. I think his arms are bigger now, and maybe that's why everything else seems uh, the same, or even smaller. I already talked about that in my previous videos. I think his arms are a little bit bigger this year, and I don't think that was a good uh, game plan. I think he should have trained them less and let the back and the chest catch up with those arms, but he didn't do that, he wanted to have crazy freaking arms, and they are looking insane right now, they're looking ridiculous, is it gonna help him or hurt him on stage? We'll see, in two weeks, but in my opinion, if everything goes well for him, and it doesn't go super well for some other guys, he actually has a legit chance of winning the Mr. Olympia, but I do have him in my top three, at least. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Check out the old school labs down below in the description. And once again, guys, if you enjoyed this content, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.